the electric arc furnace is used to make the familiar family of stainless steels and many other special steels. Scrap is the basic diet of the electric arc furnace, and electric power is its source of heat. The furnace is a steel shell lined with heat-resistant material. Limestone, iron ore, and alloys are added from one side. On the other side is the pouring spout. The roof swings open, allowing the scrap to be charged from the top. The electric power is fed through cables to the electrodes, which are raised and lowered by remote control. Mounted on a huge rack and pinion, the furnace is tipped to pour the molten steel into a waiting ladle. After the furnace is charged with scrap, the operator activates the powerful machinery that swings the huge lid into place. The operator lowers the electrodes to the required distance above the charge. The huge graphite electrodes contain a form of carbon which conducts electricity well. The operator adjusts the controls to feed the required amount of electricity to the furnace through cables that sway with the tremendous power surging to the electrodes. In fact, you could light a fair-sized city with the electricity used in a single electric arc furnace. The tremendous heat generated by the electric arc quickly melts the charge. The melter is the master chef who controls the recipe for the special steel he is making. With the furnace off and the electrodes raised, measured amounts of iron ore to control the carbon content and lime to capture impurities are added to the melted scrap. In the furnace, the chemical element iron is mixed with other elements. The iron ore reacts chemically at high temperatures with the unwanted elements. Carbon, for instance, becomes carbon monoxide gas, which bubbles away. Lime forms a molten slag, which captures impurities removed from the metal in the refining process. After the first slag has been removed, the melter inspects the bath to make certain it's ready for the next phase in the steel making operation. Materials are charged into the furnace to make a second slag, known as the reducing slag. paddle works the bath to circulate the slagging materials. This reducing slag removes dissolved oxides, lowers the oxygen content of the bath, and protects valuable alloy additions from oxidation. After the mixture has been thoroughly paddled, the electrodes are lowered into the furnace. The tremendous heat generated by the electric arc raises the temperature to the point where the chemical reaction reduction takes place. To make sure that each heat of steel meets the exact specifications, samples of the slag are taken for testing in the laboratory. Carefully measured amounts of alloys are added. Alloys like chromium, nickel, vanadium, tungsten, or others, depending on the special kind of steel ordered by the customer. The temperature of the bath is checked with a pyrometer. If conditions are right, the furnace is ready to tap. 
power is shut off. The electrodes are raised. And the melter goes to the tapping side of the furnace. When the melter pushes the lever, the electric arc furnace which produces the familiar family of stainless steels and special alloy steels, tilts to pour the molten metal into the waiting ladle. 